Welcome everybody, this is the PAV's Command 2, and we are getting into another OSS duel in our mini tourney. That's right, on the bottom, we have an obelisk. He's not here all the time, but when he is, he is action-packed and ready to go. Kairu 13 down here with his 40-card deck, 6 cards in his extra, and we have Black Powden 530, a hot shot raw who just came out of beating Otaku Game Freak and Obelisk just a little bit earlier today. A snap. A marauding captain was just sacrificed for Silent Swordsman. The return, the warrior returning live, bringing back out the, uh, bring back marauding captain. Fusion Sword Mercer Braid equipped to Silent Swordsman. Now here's a party. This is a party waiting to happen. Silent Swordsman fencing Fire Ferret. Oh, and this is gonna get hairy. Silent Swordsman's ability activates. We're going to Silent Swordsman level five, and he's gonna be able to direct attack. Will Black Powden have the skills to come back? Boom! Battle Fader. Preventing that direct attack and then preventing level 5 from getting its ability. But now it's Pow now it's uh, Kairu's turn. Southern Swordsman level 5 on the field. We have the, war the Warrior Returning Live, Fusion Blade, and Southern Swordsman in the Grave. Rod and Captain is summoned. Battle Fader to the Grave, Sun Swords level 5, direct attack. And now his ability can activate. His second ability. First, his ability to be unaffected by your opponent's spells is a wonderful ability to have. And looks like he's going to ignore to using his ability to upgrade to level 7. He's going to activate the trap, Beginning of Heaven and Earth. He's going to reveal three warrior type monsters from the deck. Including at least one Black Luster Soldier or a Guy of the Fierce Knight. And your opponent will have to choose one. You will add that to your hand and send the rest to the grave. And the cards he, uh, looks like the cards he chose was uh, the Six Samurai Zanji. But a Silent Swordsman will try to attack. Will Black Powden be able to stop it? He has two cards face down and stuff in his hand. What is going to happen? We can only anticipate what's going to happen. And noting by this, Zanji, this must be a six sands deck. Something strange, I don't see six samurais that often in the OSS. Six samurais are primarily known in the, uh, actually they were meta a very long time ago, probably at least a few years ago. And their big thing was you could swarm them. Uh, you could swarm them and synchro summon their boss monster, which negates one spell or trap card. And it looks like we froze, so we're going to try this one more time. Or, well, however many times it'll take, we will be here. We'll be ready, and we're going to play children's card games until the crack of dawn. Let's, uh, let's go into, let's see game number two. Or should I say number one? We're going to try this one more time. But who's going to be on the bottom? Who's going to be on the top? All of this will be found out on the next episode of Card Game Z. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, same order. Looks like Kyrie 13 is going first. All right, Rodney Captain's on the field. Three cards face down. Black Powden. Oh, we see terraforming now. We see beginning of heaven and earth also in gate activated. What is going to happen? He's going to reveal three. He's going to have three warrior type monsters. He's going to send two to the grave, and one's going to be randomly added to his hand thanks to Black Powden. And the black. We see the Silver Calcos. We see a Black Luster Soldier and a Legendary Six Samurai, all sent to the grave. Ugh, must have not chosen the right one. The Seer of War Calcos has been activated. Solidarity has been activated as well. So I guess that's a not, not that bad of a trade-off. And now Marauding Captain is going to hop in for 2,000. Something I've noticed during these duels is if Black Powden isn't on top of it first, he, he falls behind. But what Black Powden specializes in is never giving up. Monarch Stormforth is activated. I'm having some good feelings about this one. We see oh, Swift Guy of the Fierce Knight, Tributing Battlefader and Rotting Captain. 
Here's that direct attack, 2800, and Mirror Force stops it, dang it. But still, but still a good way. He did, and it looks like it's a dead draw for uh, Kyber 13. One card face down. Necro Garden has summoned. He's gonna he's gonna get some early lead on life points. Eleven 1 hundred, not bad. Powered by the Steel Bar Calcos. Any monster can be a significantly slightly better monster. So we're gonna see what's gonna be happening. And Kage is on the field now with ten, with 1,000 attack points. Podwaldi has added Fencing Firefare to the mix. Fencing Fire Ferret has been summoned, 2200 attack points. And who's going to attack who? Necrogarna will attack Kage. No, that's not. It's Kage Ki. Yeah, I think, I think I've been mispronouncing it. Uh, he and uh, we're going to see what happens with Necrogarna who attacked. Kairu is figuring out what he wants to do. And he's activating this trap, Battle Guard Howling. When a warrior type monster you control is targeted for an attack by your opponent's monster effect, you can target one face up monster your opponent controls, inflict damage to your opponent equal to the original attack of that face up monster you target with this card, and if you do, return it to the hand. And the monster still gets your monster still will still get destroyed, but it's like a penguin soldier. Or a hain hain. Penguin soldier does too, so hain hain's better. It puts one back. Not the real point I'm thinking about. Emergency Cap device? Regardless, Black Cotton is down to 6300, slightly below Kairu. It is his turn, main phase 1. Black Cotton may have the Seal of War Calcos, but he has Solidarity on the field. Which, if you have only one printed type of monster in your graveyard, face of monsters you control gain 800 attack points. And on most stacks that use Solidarity, they only usually use one kind of type of monster. Alright, Shard of Greed is activated, Necrogard is defense, and 2200 is removed from Kairu's life points thanks to fencing Fire Ferret. Kairu 13 draws. He just needs any monster, any monster to defend his life points. He sets one spell or trap card, One's, and he will end his turn. Black Paladin will put that Shard of Greed into quite useful. Battle phase time. Fencing Fire Ferret. Oh, Forbidden Lance. That's going to drop him down to 900. That significantly lowers his attack. Though I'm not sure if that was the best time to use it. Well, oh, what do I know? I'm just a simple voice on the internet. Actually, according to that logic, I would know everything. Hmm, ideas. Anyway, main phase one time. Three cards in Kairu's hand. Hopefully he was able to draw a monster so he could at least defend a little bit. Or maybe he also drew a fencing fire ferret. Whoo. That'd be interesting, but a little demonious. The Claw of Hermos sends Shogun to the grave. Not sure what's happening, and rest in peace, Hermos Rocket Cannon defense mode, but it gets a quick defensing fire ferret. Not sure if this was Kairu's attention, or maybe he just wants to end himself early. Take a gun and just literally shoot himself in the face. Shard of Greed is sent to the grave for him to draw two cards. And this may be the end of the duel. With the additional Rocket Hermos Cannon, the equipped monster can attack twice. Fencing Fire Ferret once, Fencing Fire Fair twice. We're going to go into game two. The first winner, the first game one, goes to Black Paladin 530. Looks like Kyra's deck was never really able to take off. But maybe we'll see that next time. But this is the really important part right now. This is sighting. The sighting is essentially where you can make adjustments and kick your opponent's ass in game two. Black Paladin's been really on a roll here. I mean, he's been on a roll, I think, all day today. Uh, he he tutored Otaku Game Freak, who is considered one of the better Obelisk players. And looks like he is on a similar path to taking out Kairu 13. If he does, his next opponent may not be so lucky. That's right, somehow in theory is the man playing him, or playing the winner of this duel. But for right now, we will just have to see where that goes. We're going to go into game two. 
And now we are going into game number two. Kairu will start off this duel with Marauding Captain in attack mode. And he's going to bring out a second. There's that Marauding Lock. Essentially, for people who don't really know what a Marauding Captain Lock is, or a Marauding Lock, is it's a, one effect is you can't target face-up warrior monsters except this one. So if there's two of them out, your opponent can't decide which one to attack. So no one can attack. At least warrior monsters. But in this case, he's pretty solid, unless Black Paladin finds a way to get rid of one of them. Black Paladin's turn. He puts down Shark Greed and Breaker the Magical Warrior. And looks like he's going to remove his spell counters. He's going to attack this face down. What could it be? Could he be able to chain it? Nope. He's going to just let that slide with Forbidden Lance. And he's just going to go to the end phase. Kairu 13's turn. He's in a very good state right now in terms of defense. But what else can he add to that? What else can he add to his Rod and Captain Lock? Either a face down or six Sam. So what it's really all in the it's all in Kairu's ballpark. He just decided what he thinks is best. Alright, Six Samurai, Zenji is on the field. He's going to attack Breaker. Rotting Captain, double attack. And Black Paladin is down to 5,400 life points. No, wait. 54, yeah, 5,400. <laughs> and one chart, one Greek counter has been placed on. One face down has been placed down. And one monster has been face down. Kairu's turn. Man phase one. Three cards in hand. Three monsters on table. I think this is the new Three's Company. Legendary Six Samurai, Special Summon, and Great Shogun Stein is also Special Summon. For people who don't know what Great Shogun Stein is, he is the boss monster for Six Sands for the OSS. If you control Six or Six Samurai monsters, you can Special Summon this card. Your opponent can only activate one spell slash trap card each turn, and if this card would be destroyed, you can destroy a face up Six Sand monster you control instead. So now he has a full army of Samurais, and here we go. Six Samurai Zanshi will attack first, and the Fencing Fire Ferret will target Great Shogun Stein, and he's going to send Kaizen to the grave. Great Shogun Stein will attack, 2500, now Rotting Captain 1, and Rotting Captain 2. Black Pound is down to 500. Looks like he doesn't have much options. But anything can happen in the OSS. And his second Greek counter has been activated. He's going to send a Greek counter to the grave to draw two more cards. Six cards in hand now. Hopefully he draws something that can turn this duel around. We have the Seal of Ori Calcos. But he can't play anything else. He puts down one more spell or trap. And a face down. Kairu 13. He's going to activate reinforcement of the army. He's going to bring up another army monster. Let's see what he decides to bring up. Brings up another Kaizen. Kaizan. And he's going to special summon that. The battle phase time. Zanjin will, will attack the face down. And here's Mirror Force taking out everything that is a full wipe ladies and gentlemen that is a full monster wipe and now black paladin this is a very good chance for a counter attack he did absolutely wait that one out he wanted to wait until all of them were on the field at the same time just to really cause havoc but now black paladin has to be careful he only has 500 life points left so even one destroyed monster in attack mode can be bad for him a direct attack by Breaker, and he's going to end his turn. He has two cards face down, a Breaker, and a face down, and the Seal of Ori Calcos. Dead draw for Kairu. And a second Breaker, the Magical Warrior, is on the field. And a third face down. 2400 strike, and 2400 strike. 
Kairu's down to 800 like points. He better think of something fast and something good. He puts down one face down, and that'll be the, and that'll be it. Will Black Powder be able to come up and will rise above it? We may never know. Gold sarcophagus, and Call the Haunted is activated. Oh, and here's Traps done as the secondary card. Whew, that's just stopped it right there. Supply Squad now. Let's banish. Now Breaker with that direct attack. And this game is over, ladies and gentlemen. The winner is Black Powder in 530. He, he almost, he almost lost game two, but he, he waited, he waited until all the cards were up. He played that Mirror Force. He, he wanted to wait till Kairu's hand was completely depleted. And he just hammered it home afterwards. Ladies and gentlemen, that is what you call a smart, that's what you call a smart strategy right there. Now, I can't wait to see where else Black Powder is going to go in this tournament, and we are going to be following him right up the ladder. So for right now, for anyone listening, this is the PA Music Man 2. We are signing off for now.